Kia ora guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Adam Goodley and today I am going to be talking about how to fix this issue. So the other day I went out and purchased the A7S III. Um, I've been looking at it for the last year. So I was just like, first in yourself, picked it up. Stoked about it, come back here. I knew there was new uh, firmware to update on it. So I went to update it and then I just got an installed Sony camera driver. I have no idea what that is. Try to Google it, nothing really helped me. So it took me three hours trying to do some research and trying to find a way to get a new firmware on it. So that's why I made this video. So it's not going to take you guys three hours. It will take you with everything, probably half an hour. First off, I'm sure you already know, but you want to make sure it's on mass storage, your camera. Um, so for me, I have my Sony A7S III. Um, so with the A7S III, you're gonna go down into setup or the yellow box, go all the way down to, I believe it's number 10, and then the USB connection, and then click on mass storage. Okay, that's the first thing you're gonna do. And if you have an A7 III or A7R III, it's a similar thing, but you're gonna go into the menu, you're gonna go into setup, which is the yellow box, and I believe it is number four, and then you're gonna go a USB connection and then change it to mass storage, okay? First thing, that's the most important one, pretty much. And then once you have that, make sure you have the connection, uh, the USB plugged in the back of your computer. Don't have to plug into your camera yet, but just as long as you have the USB, it's usually the one that comes with the box, or sometimes it even, even some of the ones that you have around home, if you don't have it, plugs in. I think I used the GoPro one, one other time. But anyway, so let's get it started. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Google. Come down here. I've already got it written in. Firmware update for the Sony A A7S III or whatever model you are using. Just type it in there and it should come up the top. Once you click this. Now, obviously the first time I done it, <coughs> I used the Mac and the Mac wouldn't work. Okay, so what we're gonna do as well, we are going to install the Windows. Yes, we're going to install the Windows on Mac. So we're going to download this, come down the bottom, download this. You can sign in if you want, or you can just go download without creating an account. All that is downloading, we will come over here. We're going to go back into Google, and we are going to type in Parallel. So Parallels is a virtual, pretty much it's going to be a virtualization of Windows, okay? So we're going to click on the top, uh, the second one here, not the ad. We're going to click on the second one here. Perfect. And you are going to, you can buy it if you want, but you don't need to. So we're going to download the free trial, okay? So click download, click download. I already have it on my computer. Once you've installed Parallels, put it on your desktop, open it, follow the instructions. It will say, do you want to install Windows 10? Click yes, just follow the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Once you have done that, it will take probably about 20 minutes for you to install onto your ca uh, computer. I better say camera. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Parallels. You want to do Parallels up. So now that we are in Windows 10, this is here is your zip folder for your um, the firmware update. But first, what you want to do to make sure it connects to your, uh, to your camera is plug your camera in, the USB to the camera. Make sure it's on mass storage. It should say connecting mass storage. Then go up to devices. I've already done it, so it's not going to show up here. But you're going to go USB and Bluetooth. And then over here, the third one, I believe it is, it's going to be USB powered devices. And once that is clicked, it will automatically connect to your computer and it's going to show what is all connected. As for right now, I have my Apple MacBook keyboard and my two hard drives connected. Okay. So once you have your camera plugged in, you're going to double, double click this. It's going to update. It's going to unzip your firmware file. And then it's just going to connect straight to your camera. Just follow the instructions. Just go next, 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 next. Let it install. It's probably going to take seven to ten minutes. And then that's it. You're done. 
you're done. I don't even need to do it for you because you're already going to be doing it yourself. You pretty much just follow it along. Straightforward, yeah? So that is going to save you three hours of research. I hope this has helped you guys. Make sure you hit that like. If it did help you at all, write a comment, whatever. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.